Dual is a city located in the Dual district in the northwestern part of Maharashtra state, India known as Khandesh, situated on the banks of Panzara River. The city, with industrial areas, schools, hospitals, supermarkets and residential areas, has communications and transport infrastructures. Dual is the regional headquarters of MIDC, RTO, and MTDC. Dual is largely emerging as one of the upcoming hubs of textile, edible oil, and power loom across the state and has gained a strategic advantage for being on the junction of three national highways viz. NH3, NH6, and NH211 and on most anticipated Manmad, indoor rail project. Recently Ministry of Surface Transport has granted conversion of surrounding four state highways to national highway, after which Dual would be the one amongst very few cities in India being located on convergence of seven national highways. Conversion of NH3 from four lanes to six lanes between Dual and Nashik with modern facilities is under process. Dual City is also a part of Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor Project, as Node 17, India's most ambitious infrastructure program, aiming to develop new industrial cities and converging next generation technologies across infrastructure sectors. As a part of creating employment across smaller cities, Ministry of Electronics and IT has also given in principle approval for setting BPO at Dual. Geography Dual is located at 20.9 degrees north 74.78 degrees east, 20.9, 74.78. It has an average elevation of 250 metres 787 feet. Dual lies in the Khandesh region, which forms the northwest corner of the Deccan Plateau. The Dual District is bordered in the west by the Gujarat state and in the north by Madhya Pradesh along with Nanderbar District, and in the south and east by Nashik District and Jalgaon District respectively. It is situated in a valley of the Tapi River along the banks of the Panzara River. The Devi Ekvira, goddess Ekvira being regarded as a Gramadevata of the city and her temple is situated on the banks of the Panzara River. Throughout the district the neem trees have been planted as avenue trees on roadsides. Less common is the tamarind, pipal, babul, and other types of trees. In the urban area of the district around 50% population is agriculturalists and agricultural labors, whereas in the rural area more than 95% population is agriculturalists and agricultural labors. This region consists of residual hills and dikes of poor dry and stony soils intervened by well-watered valleys of the eastward trending upper courses of streams with somewhat better soils and intense agricultural activity based on canal and well irrigation. This region is one of the few regions in Maharashtra with well-developed canal irrigation even in pre-British times, probably on account of the rivers flowing in a region of light soils derived from the slow weathering of the dikes. The soils of Tapi Valley region are extremely fertile except in some portions near the main river and its tributaries. Climate The climate of the district is on the whole dry except during the southwest monsoon season. The year may be divided into four seasons. The cold season from December to February is followed by the hot season from March to May. The southwest monsoon season which follows thereafter, lasts till September. October and November constitute the post-monsoon season. The average annual rainfall in the district is 674.0 mm. The rainfall is heavier in the hilly regions of the Western Ghats mountain range and the Sitpura ranges. From about the latter half of February, temperatures increase steadily till May which is the hottest part of the year with the mean daily maximum temperature at 40.7 degrees Celsius. From November, both day and night temperatures drop rapidly till January which is the coldest month with the mean daily minimum at 16.2 degrees Celsius. Except during the southwest monsoon season when the humidity is above 70%, the air is rather dry over the district during the rest of the year. Demographics As of 2011 India Census, Dual had a population of 376,093. At the 2001 census, males constitute 52% of the population and females 48%. 
Dual has an average literacy rate of 85%, higher than the national average of 59.5%, male literacy is 80%, and female literacy is 69%. 13% of the population is under 6 years of age. History Until the beginning of the 19th century, Dual was an insignificant village, subordinate to Lalling, the capital of the Lalling or Fatihabad subdivision. Under the rule of the Nizam, Lalling was incorporated with the district of Dalatabad. The town passed successively through the hands of the Arab kings, the Mughals, and the Nizam, and into the power of the Peshwas about 1795. In 1803, it was completely deserted by its inhabitants on account of the ravages of Holkar and the terrible famine of that year. In the following year, Balaji Balwant, a dependent of the Venturkar, to whom the Parganas of Lalling and Songar had been granted by the Peshwa, repeopled the town, and received from the Venturkar, in return for his services, a grant of Inam land and other privileges. He was subsequently entrusted with the entire management of the territory of Songar and Lalling, and fixed his headquarters at Dool, where he continued to exercise authority till the occupation of the country by the British in 1818. Dool was immediately chosen as the headquarters of the newly formed district of Kandesh by Captain John Briggs. In January 1819, he obtained sanction for building public offices for the transaction of revenue and judicial business. Artificers were brought from distant places, and the buildings were erected at a total cost of £2,700. Every encouragement was offered to traders and others to settle in the new town. Building sites were granted rent-free in perpetuity, and advances were made both to the old inhabitants and strangers to enable them to erect substantial houses. At this time, Captain Briggs described Dool as a small town, surrounded by garden cultivation, and shut in between an irrigation channel and the river. The town was located on the southern bank of the Panzara River with an area of about one square mile. In 1819, the population numbered only 2,509 persons, living in 401 houses. In 1863, there were 10,000 inhabitants, while by 1872 the number had further increased to 12,489, with 2,620 houses. From the date of its occupation by the British, the progress of Dual had been steady. Towards the end of the 19th century the town had already become significant trading centre due to the trade in cotton and linseed. Coarse cotton, woolen cloths and turbans were manufactured for local use around this time. In 1872, Dool was visited by a severe flood, which did much damage to houses and property. Dool was a cantonment town, and in year 1881 had two hospitals, telegraph and post offices. In 1873–74 there were four government schools, with 551 pupils. Historically, the town has been divided into new and old dual. In the latter, the houses were irregularly built, the majority being of a very humble description. <laughs> <laughs> Education Dual hosts a big number of educational institutes. Following table names a few of them. Topic: Government Hospital. Shri Bausaheb Higher Government Medical College was founded in 1989. Earlier Hospital of Medical College was submerged with that of District Civil Hospital. However, since it was leading to several conflicts amongst staff of respective departments, Department of Medical Education decided to venture out itself from District Civil Hospital and erected its new building with state-of-the-art medical facilities at Chakar Bharti area of the city, around 8 km away from city alongside NH6 with total capacity of 500 beds and have shifted with effect from 14 March 2016. At the old site in city, new civil hospital with total capacity of 200 to 250 beds is proposed. MSRTC has resumed city bus service connecting central bus stand to Chakar Bharti, so as to avoid any inconvenience to public. Topic industries and economy of the city Dual is well known for purest milk ghee production, maximum cultivable land, and production of groundnut, foremost in agro-based industries, leader in wind power generation, Dondecha in Shindheda Toluca is famous for the chili market. There is also a starch factory here. Many cottage industries are operational in the district. 
Beady rolling, pottery, brick making, knitting saris on handlooms, oil extraction from ground nut and sesame are few of them. Wood cutting units are operated at Dual, Shirpur and Pimpalnar, being centrally located on about to complete Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor Project DMIC. Safe Express has established India's largest logistics park in the outskirts of Dual City on National Highway No. 6. As part of the successful development of the region under DMIC, there is a need to focus on ensuring requisite irrigation infrastructure for ensuring availability of water throughout the year. Reasons for selecting Dual Nardana Investment Region DNIR, being located close to the intersection of NH6, NH3 and NH211, this region enjoys advantage of excellent connectivity to ports and hinterland. With abundant supply of raw materials and human resources, this region has wide potential for setting up of manufacturing units for textile products. Dual Airport is also located close to the proposed region. This region is served by the major Rive Basin formed by Tapi Riverkeep apart proposed DNIR, snapshot of existing dual MIDC as is under, 1 dual industrial area, MIDC has planned to develop an industrial area on 400.35 hect, of land. About 278.08 hect, of land has come into possession of MIDC. MIDC has provided all the basic infrastructure such as roads, street lights, water supply pipelines in this area. MIDC has constructed an earthen dam on Motanala to fulfill the requirement of water of the industrial area. MIDC has provided water supply scheme of 4.50 MLD capacity. Presently the consumption of the water is about 2.20 MLD. The rate of allotment of industrial plot is 100 rupees per sqm. The association namely Dual Abdan Manufacturers Association Avadon, Dual has been established for development of industries in MIDC Dual Industrial Area. The expansion of existing MIDC has been proposed vid Phase 2 in Raver area, situated in outskirts of the city, which is having area of more than 1,600 acres 643 hectares and currently this proposal is under consideration of state government. It is also worthwhile to note that, planned Manmad dual indoor railway line have also been considered in the original proposal of DMIC Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor Project, which will boost industrial growth in and around City.2 Nardana Central Government Sponsored Growth Center, MIDC has planned to develop an industrial area on 750.09 hect, of land. About 648.56 hect, of land has come in possession of MIDC. The reservation of water for 4.38 mm3 per year has been granted by Irrigation Department. MIDC has provided the water supply scheme for this industrial area. This scheme includes Jackwell, 600 mm Dia PSC raw water rising main 13.50 km, 400 mm Dia PSC pure water rising main 9.50 km, water treatment plant of 6 MLD capacity and 1000 cum capacity ESR. Presently MIDC is developing phase 1 having land 480 hect. MIDC has completed 7.22 km. WBM roads, out of which asphalting of 2.10 km road is completed. MIDC has also provided the water supply distribution pipelines. The rate of allotment of industrial plot is Rs. 50.00 per sqm. Under proposed DMIC, the Nardana Textile Park is being set up 30 km from Dual City. The total area of the park will be approximately 648 hectares, on which 72 plots will be demarcated. The dual airstrip, just 30 kilometers away from the industrial area, will provide accessibility to the park and facilitate a quick movement of material. <laughs> Manmad, dual, indoor rail project Recently Central Railways has floated tender for submitting project report within six months. Said report shall be submitted to Railway Planning Committee for further approval and thereafter provision shall be made in rail budget. Transportation Air Dual Airport is located in the Gondar area of Dual City. 
It has a runway 1,400 meters (4,600 feet) long. Nearby airports with scheduled services are at Aurangabad (148 kilometers), Pune (340 kilometers), and Mumbai (350 kilometers). Dual Airport has provided facility of aircraft training and pilot training. Topic: Rail. Dual terminus station code DHI is connected to Chalisgaon Junction Railway Station under Central Railways. The Chalisgaon dual passenger runs between the two stations four times a day. Topic Road Dual is one of the few cities in the Maharashtra state which is located on the junction of three national highways, these being NH3, NH6 and NH211. Through the Asian Highway Project, portions of NH3 and NH6 passing through Dual have been converted into numbered Asian Highways AH47 and AH46 respectively. Due to the heavy use of central bus stand and traffic congestion within the city, one more bus stand has been built in Diopur, which became fully operational from March 23, 2015. From this stand, about 120 route buses are running on a daily basis. Central Bus Stand is connected to Diopur Bus Stand by 425-seater mini buses by Maharashtra State Road Transport Corporation MSRTC. These buses run from Central Bus Stand to Nagav and from Diopur Bus Stand to Lalling. Recognizing ongoing expansion of the city limits and the increased population, Sri Anasaheb Missal IAS, the collector and district magistrate of Dual and Sri Rajendra Dior Dual Depot Controller of MSRTC started city bus services in July 2016. This service is available on four different routes, Lalling to Nagav, Fane to Moraine, Walwadi to Vajai, and CBS to Chakar Bharti. Topic Notable people Smita Patil, popular Bollywood actress Ram V. Sutar, sculptor Viswanath Kashinath Rajwad, historian, scholar, writer, commentator, and orator Yashvantrao Sakaram Desail, freedom fighter and politician Nimba Krushna Thakuri, renowned mathematician Lakshman Shastri Joshi, scholar of Sanskrit, Hindu Dharma, and a Marathi literary critic and supporter of Indian independence Righunath Balkrushna Kelkar, primitive cartoonist Padmashri Dr. Suvalil Bafna, renowned social worker worker, industrialist and political leader Harish Sav, former Solicitor General of India Deepti Sati popular Malayalam film actress Manoj Badale, co-owner of Rajasthan Royals, an Indian Premier League team Pallavi Patil, Marathi film actress Lalit Prabhakar, Marathi film and theatre actor Drive. Subhash Bamre, Union Minister of State Defense, renowned carcinologist Jayakumar Jatendrasan Rawal, Minister of Tourism and Employment Guarantee Scheme, Government of Maharashtra.